model Tess Holliday revealing her battle with anorexia. With eating disorders on the rise during the pandemic, Kana Whitworth spoke exclusively to Holliday about her struggle and what she wants others to know. Good morning, Kana. Michael, good morning. Now, she says it was hard for her to hear that diagnosis, confusing even. And this morning, she says she's proof that eating disorders don't discriminate. This morning, supermodel Tess Holiday revealing her struggle with anorexia. The mother of two saying she was recently diagnosed by a psychologist, but has ultimately been struggling with disordered eating most of her life. I always thought that I overate. But then people in my life would say, oh, yeah, I eat more than Tess. And it was almost like I wore it as a badge of honor. Known for loving and celebrating her curves as a body positive activist, Holiday has been receiving support for her honesty for many, but also being questioned by some online about how she could love her body and also have an eating disorder. I've had a lot of messages from folks that are anorexic that are livid and angry because they feel like, I'm lying. I am plus size, but advocating for diversity and larger bodies. And so I think for people hearing me say I'm anorexic was really jarring. Holiday's dietitian Anna Sweeney says if you think that most eating disorders are visible conditions, you're wrong. Eating disorders don't have to look a certain way. I understand that people look at me and I don't fit what we have seen presented as, you know, the diagnosis for anorexia. But then for me, that tells me that there's a larger problem, which I've been actually saying for years, is that we have a, like, a lack of diversity and representation in the world. Eating disorders are extremely common and may affect nearly one in every 10 people. According to a recent study, about 9% of the U.S. population, almost 29 million people, will have an eating disorder in their lifetime. And the numbers are on the rise during the pandemic. The National Eating Disorders Association reporting a 41% increase in calls to their helplines. Holiday sharing highs and lows, including her divorce, with over 2 million followers on Instagram, hoping to reach others that might be facing a similar battle. You wrote... I'm the result of a culture that celebrates thinness and equates that to worth, but I get to write my own narrative. So tell me, what is that story now? I mean, the sky's the limit. I actually feel like I can take on the things that life is throwing my way. And, and I have been happier in the last six months through my recovery than I've been in my entire life. I feel whole, I feel at peace. I really feel in my power. And she says her dietitian has her focusing on eating three meals a day and she's doing Pilates. Also, the Cleveland Journal of Medicine did a study finding that restrictive eating disorders tend to be under-recognized in patients with larger bodies. Guys. Okay, Kenna, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.